Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I look at this, uh, this vote tonight, <clears throat> I recognize that there is uh, good people on both sides, motivated for different reasons. I think we have great concern, and as we look at the political landscape today, great concern for what the future will hold. But here's where I come on this, Mr. Speaker. I stand in favor of this because overall I believe in the goodness of the people. I don't fear the people. I have faith in the people. And a defining fact of this very important defining article that was placed in the Constitution in the sunset hours of its formation was this, that not only the majority, but a supermajority of the legislative bodies have to speak in favor to do anything, which means on the other side, 13 of the 99 bodies legislative bodies in our nation can turn away, can turn away and reject anything that a convention of the states would propose to amend the Constitution, 13. And if there's not 13 bodies in this nation of those 99 that can't see clearly enough, we're in a lot worse condition than anything our Constitution can do. This will provide a revival, a renaissance of constitutional principle and practice and theory that our country so surely needs. We respond all the time as this body. We responded to the voice of the people when they spoke about the use of marijuana, when they speak about the adoption of Medicaid expansion. This has many, many good fruits. And I come down on the side of faith in the American people to stand up and do what's right rather than fear. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Go to conventionstates.com, press the button, sign the petition. More importantly, get 10 of your friends to do the same. When you sign the petition, then that sends a letter to your state legislator. You go on the list in their district as a supporter. We deliver those lists to the state legislators. It means something to them.